There's no other tournament like this. Pride is on the line, toughness on the line, heart, determination, anything you think of is on the line. Each team is coming for you. They call, they talk chat. I don't like to say pressure. You just gotta win. Oh my goodness! That's what you call a sports center top 10, ladies and gentlemen. Log luck. Money never gets old. Two million dollars on the line. Pride is on the line. Yeah, but I really just want to win. I love winning. Back it in for the win. It's a TBT three P for overseas elite. All the pressure is on us. Every team that we play wants to be the team that beat overseas elite. I'm not scared of anyone. Like I don't care who it is. I can compete with anybody. Everybody that has a crown always getting knocked off. One, two, three, one for four. And that is the plan for Overseas Elite. Complete domination of TBT. And if they win tonight, it will mark four consecutive championships. That's our matchup. The champion Overseas Elite against the challenger, Everline Drive. Both teams advancing to the championship game with impressive wins last night. Overseas Elite won by 25. And late, it was Team Fredette challenging, but Everline Drive had the victory to advance. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the championship game. Bob Rathman, Fran Fraschilla with you. And this Overseas Elite bunch has proven one thing over the last four years. They can flat play this game in TBT. Their success has been phenomenal. Oh, you're right, Bob. If you're just watching for the first time, this is a group of guys with a little bit of NBA experience, but a whole bunch of overseas international basketball experience. You see the winnings, 24-0. They play at a high level, not just because they're talented, but because they have great chemistry together. Seven of these guys are going for their fourth consecutive TBT title. And a former Arizona Wildcat leads them. He saves his best for the big moments, and that's Kyle Fogg. Why not? If it's TBT semis and finals, it's all about Kyle Fogg. He's trying to win his third consecutive uh, TBT MVP award. So that's going to be an interesting uh, dynamic. Remember this, he came into this tournament, first four games only averaging nine points a game. Last night he exploded for 38. He's done it before and he loves this moment. If there is an upset, the parade route will be along a cul-de-sac north of Detroit called Everline Drive. But don't be misled by the worst of first nature of this team. These guys can play. They've gotten better every year, and this roster is stacked. A lot of NBA experience, G League experience, and overseas experience. And the best player on the team is a guy named Jerome Randall. All he's done is he's the, he's the all-time leading scorer at Cal. And then how about Donald Sloan, former Texas A&M Aggie. Lots of NBA experience, playing great in this tournament. And don't be surprised if he parlays this performance into another spot on an NBA roster very soon. So the stage has been set, 72 teams, and it's down to two for a winner-take-all $2 million prize. Let's meet the lineups. Here's public address announcer Chris Del Sordo. Let's meet the starting lineups for the West Regional Champs, Eberline Drive. A five foot, 10 inch point guard from Cal Berkeley, number two, Jerome Randall. A six foot, three inch shooting guard from Texas A&M, number 15, Donald Sloan. A six foot, seven inch wing from North Dakota State, number 24, Taylor Braun. A six foot nine inch forward from Western Kentucky, number 23, Jeremy Evans. And a six eleven center from St. Louis U, number 33, Willie Reed. Everline Drive is 
is coached by David Nurse. And now the starting lineup for the three-time defending champion, Overseas Elite. A six foot two inch point guard from Goshen College, number three, Eric McCollum. A six foot three inch shooting guard from Arizona, number 21, Kyle Fogg. A six foot six inch small forward from St. John's, number 17, DJ Kennedy. A six foot five inch wing from Iowa State, number 50, DeAndre Kane. And a six foot nine inch power forward from St. John's, number 24, Justin Burrell. And Overseas Elite is coached by Mark Hughes. Those are the starting lineups. For more on this amazing Everline Drive story, we welcome in Jen Hale with Jake Hirschman. Bob, it truly has been a Cinderella story for Everline Drive. At one point, they were called the lost cause of the TBT. Jacob Hirschman, the original general manager, you were there five years ago. Fast forward now, you have the chance to go from worst to first. What has that emotional ride been like? I mean, it's been surreal. That's the word I've been using over and over again. You know, worst to first was a rallying cry for so many years, and to think that it's finally coming true is crazy got to go through the three-time defending champs overseas elite to do it. By the way, they have the top three scorers in TBT history. How do you get your squad going tonight? I mean, they've got all the motivation they need. Everyone's counting us out. They've counted us out every single game since we played Broad Street in round one. So these guys, they have a huge chip on their shoulder. You know, a guy like Jerome Randall never had a chance in the NBA. They're ready to prove it here on American soil, and they're, they're going to do it. We can't wait to watch. Best of luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bob, nothing like a chip on your shoulder to get you going. That's for sure. Let's check out the rules of TBT. It's a combination of NCAA, NBA, and FIBA. You do get an extra foul like the NBA, and uh, you're going on six instead of five. On the fifth foul of each quarter, all non-shooting fouls will be awarded two free throws. FIBA rules on the goaltend. Once that baby hits the rim, you are free to go get it. Haven't seen a great deal of that, but it is in effect. The timeout situation, three 30s and one 60 for each club, and then two of the three 30-second timeouts carry over to the second half, and that brings us, Fran, to the Elam ending. Exactly, and it's been a success in this tournament. The first dead ball under four minutes. We stop the clock, it shuts off. The team that's in the lead, you add seven to their score, that becomes the target score. Think about, think of the way we've all grown up playing basketball on the playground or in the Y. First team to 11 or 21, in this case, the target score. Clarence Armstrong, Mike Eads, and Jeff Anderson are the officials for the championship. And the top seed, undefeated, overseas elite, 24-0 in TBT with the game's first possession. There's going to be a, yeah, a great matchup in every position tonight. Kyle Fogg, unbelievable last night. His first shot of this one rings out. Rebound to Everlon Brown. The man with the ball is the catalyst. Jerome Randall, Cal's all-time leading scorer. 2017 Australia League Player of the Year. Willie Reed is fouled. This one on DJ Kennedy of Overseas Elite. As the big man starting to make his move. Now Willie Reed will try it at the foul line. Played collegiately at St. Louis with a lot of NBA experience last season. 39 games with the Clippers and then three in, ironically, Detroit with the Pistons. This Everline Drive team, unlike many of the teams we've seen in the Super 16, extremely long length at the, in, the, in the front line, and they challenge everything at the rim defensively. 
besides the NBA players that they have on the roster, is it the size and length of Fran that leads to believe they've got a shot to win this thing? Up? Absolutely. Yep, they, can, they can defend at all five positions. We saw the great job they did of slowing down Jimmy Fredette last night. And look right now, the ball hawking by Jerome Randall. McCollum has to back out. Now comes down the wing to fire. And this. Skying to get the rebound. Jeremy Evans. Randall to the hoop. Everline drive basketball. Randall has been terrific. As you take a look at the head coach, David Nail, Nurse. Nail, nail. 31 years old nail and one of the leading the shot line. practitioners in the game of basketball. International acclaim for David Nurse. And coaching Everline Drive, what he hopes to be a $2 million payday for his team. Evans with the miss. Oversees the lead on the push. All the way to the basket for opening lane for DeAndre Kane. Now, here's the difference in styles. Everline Drive has gone big, and if you look at Overseas Elite, very mobile in all five spots. DeAndre Kane went coast to coast off that rebound. Donald Sloan, who studied the ship. He is playing in his fourth TBT game. He missed the Super 16. Getting a crack for the New Orleans Pelicans and another lane for DJ Cannon. Same thing. Rebound, handles it himself, and finishes at the other end. Keep it legal, Keep it legal. Keep it legal. Sloan has to recover that at midcourt. Good defensive pressure from overseas elite. They jumped out big early in last night's game as they routed the Golden Eagles from Marquette 85-60. Jeremy Evans, soft touch. He had 10 last night. You want to know how athletic Jeremy Evans is? He's a one-time NBA dunk champion. Herb McCollum. Right as the basketball into the hands of Tom Bach. Here turnover. Kennedy. And an over-the-back foul on Willie Reed. Well, this team is very mobile overseas elite. There's the rebound by Kennedy, and he does this a lot. Takes it himself, finishes, and then Jeremy Evans, former Western Kentucky Hilltopper who has had quality time in the NBA, probably mostly with the Utah Jazz, I would think. Right, yes, sir, five years with the Jazz, man. Last year played in the G League with the Erie Bayhawks. Is high to Clement. Donald Sloan, 30 years old, and NBA playoff experience under his belt when he was with the Indiana Pacers. Turns the corner, but left it short. Kennedy the rebound. Five for three. Failing it off. After 38 last night in the national semifinals. And once again, D.J. Kennedy rebounds to the pass. Willie Reed uses the high class to score in a 7-5 game. This is high-level basketball, Bob. I talked to Travis Diener last night, who plays in Italy, and he said if these teams had a month of practice, they would be the best teams in Europe, or at least among the best teams in Europe. These guys are all professionals. Eric McCollum on the miss. He's the older brother of C.J. McCollum, who finally made it into town after all kinds of travel problems to get here from New York. But he's in attendance to see brother Eric perform. Randall from the wing. Picked up by Taylor Braun. Inside the rig, he's fouled, going for the dunk. Leveled by Justin Burrell. This is what you love about TBT. You see Justin Burrell, hard foul. He goes right over, picks him up. And so while there's a lot at stake, there's a heavy dose of respect on both ends of the floor. Nothing's coming easy tonight, but with the officiating being the way it is and the uh, professional attitude, we'll take it right to the line because of what's at stake. You see that dollar figure underneath the name of Willie Reed. They divvy up 
the two million dollar prize money and that will be Willie Reed's take tonight if Evelyn Brock wins this championship. Fans win money, players win money, coaches win money. What about us? I did not see <laughs> announcers getting money. <laughs> Willie Reed, three NBA seasons, 152 NBA games with four teams. Soft touch on that second free throw to make it 7 6. It's hard to pressure overseas elite because they've got five guys, at least four that can handle the ball to get into the offense. And you see Kennedy is able to do that pretty easily. Austin Burrell, St. John's product, banging with Reed. Hooks! Final good! Great extension that time by Paris Horn. Paris Horn is the glue to this team. It doesn't matter if he even scores a point, although he picked up two there. Former St. John star, big play. And a foul on the drive by Jerome Randall. And this is great activity on the glass. Yep, absolutely. Watch Paris, watch Paris Horn sneak in from the weak side and finish. There's three St. John's players on this team and seven players who have been together for the three championships. So the chemistry and the continuity is excellent. I think Fran, fans may find that interesting, that these guys scatter the globe to play and come together for basically three weeks, put this team together. There is some carryover effect from year to year, but how they can do this, they're so professional, they know how to play. All these guys out here, what a move. What a move! And Jimmy Evans with a slam ball. He went to the penthouse, and then he held the button so he didn't have to come down right away. McConnell, that's a three. And fans, we are playing with the collegiate three-point line. 12-8, overseas elite. Sloan, a little bit of daylight. Now finds James Michael McAdoo, two-time champion with the Golden State Warriors underway with the championship game. Absolutely. Overseas Elite, quick start. But this will be a battle. This is high-level hoops. It's reality TV. So much at stake, and we've just gotten started. The basketball tournament is brought to you by Puma Basketball.
and by Sling TV, the live TV you love, only better, and only $25 a month. Start watching seven days free at Sling.com. And by Mile 22, starring Mark Wahlberg in theaters August 17th. Now. We came out with not a whole lot of energy. And right now, all they're doing is scoring in transition and on offensive rebounds, just like we said. So we know who they are. We know how to stop them. We got to dig deep. Don't conserve any energy at all. Trans D, everybody rebound. Okay, offensively, on this possession, we're going to go to the same thing. Jerome, you're going to hit J.E., J.Mac. Quick screen for J.E., attack the rim. They have four fouls. We got to get to the rim, get into their body. Right here, going to the hoop. You got to kick out the G zone if you don't. In our flow, our Puma flow, in the huddle, go. featuring David Nurse and Fran Fragilla. Here's a look at what Overseas Elite has been doing to them in transition. You're exactly right, and that's why the uh, the emphasis in that timeout. But this is what you love about Overseas Elite. They can rip and run because they're versatile. DeAndre King with the rebound, coast to coast. Doesn't have to outlet it. Another example right here, DJ Kennedy. That's, he's got the rebound, coast to coast. Something David Nurse is very concerned about. Rip and run, going coast to coast, and who do you find? A guy that makes him at a high level behind the line. Every line drive. Coming off its toughest game to date last night against Team Fredette. Jimmer got hot late, but not enough. Everline drive, one by 10, 80 to 70. James Michael McAdoo coming off the bench and looking at him with the left hand. And now a foul on Jerome Randall. Good strong move by James Michael McAdoo. Played one game last weekend. Big last night, good isolation at the top of the key. Takes Jandre Jefferson to the rim, uses the left hand. James Michael will be heading to Italy soon and playing for Larry Brown in the Italian Division One. The feed intended for Jefferson goes out of bounds. Former South Carolina Gamecock. 12-10 overseas elite. We're talking about James Michael McAdoo. One of the big reasons he's here is because he had a relationship with David Nurse. David Nurse was working with James Michael McAdoo on his game, and that paved the way for a look from Golden State, and the rest is history. Sloan, going to work. Step back. Jeremy Evans, so active as we check in with Jim. Well, Bob, interesting note. In previous games, everyone drive is scored on the backs and power of their guard, like that move right there from Jerome Rado. That's his first basket and the first basket for Everline Drive's front court. Up until now, they've been depending on their bigs to score, and that's by design. I talked to Donald Sloan, and he said they wanted to mix up the scouting report, hopefully for an overseas elite a curveball, so that's why they're relying on their bigs and not so much their front court. Well, what you like about that, Jen, is they have that kind of versatility. We know that Randall and Sloan can put points on the board, but uh, they have some weapons inside as well, and they don't want to be just reliant on the outside game. Good strong move by DeAndre Kane, the former Iowa State Cyclone star. And problems lining up here. There will be two free throws for DeAndre Kane. We talked about the core of this overseas elite team has been together through this magnificent tournament run. And Kane's been a big part of that, friend. Last year, 12 points, seven boards in the championship game. Oh, yeah. The connection to this overseas elite team, because he was not there at the beginning, is he is a high school teammate of DJ Kennedy. And they had another pretty good teammate who played last year, a guy named Javon Blair from a pit stop. Kane splits the two. Kane is participating in two of the championship seasons. Sloan, nope. Running again, overseas the lead. Randall trying to hustle back, the shovel to Kane. Oh no, Paris Horn, quietly effective. From the wing, Eldridge. And again, overseas the lead. Cranking up the transition game. Kennedy against Lou Amundsen. 
He's a tough matchup, Bob. He's a power forward. He's basically able to make plays for this whole team. His teammates have cleared out for him here. And Amason there to block the shot. And then stepped out of bounds. The ball belongs to Everlon Drive. Ooh, Amundsen, 10-year veteran in the NBA, a couple years overseas, most recently in Japan, and we may be watching the final basketball that this guy plays. I talked to him this morning, and uh, he might be ready to put up the sneakers after a really good grinder-type career. He's 35 years old, a terrific run. Randall on the bounce. James Michael steps in. By Jefferson. He sees the lead by three. A minute five to go. First quarter. TBT Championship. Everline Drive will get it. Saw that strong move, but not finished right there by Jeremy Pargo, former Gonzaga star. Who's playing in his first TBT for overseas elite. In the midst of a very successful European career, is currently in. Tel Aviv playing from a copy. Baseline cut. Sloan gets it off in traffic. Lou Amundsen controlling for an instant. And the ball out of bounds to Everline Drive. 41 seconds to go in the quarter. Todd O'Brien did not play last night in the semifinals. Young man who started at Bucknell, went to St. Joe's, and he's getting his first taste of championship action. Scott Sloan was great last night, but starts over for five tonight. Randall with two on the shot clock in here. Chance to go for one right here. They're going to slow it down. Get the final possession of the first quarter. Kane. Single digits on the clock. Kane looking for a screen. Never developed. Now picks up his dribble. All alone is Jefferson underneath. And that is going to be the quarter. I'm not sure they threw it up that way, but all's well that ends well. No, they, they got caught. What happened was Everline Drive started to cheat up, thinking they could get something easy, maybe a steal, and watch the good look by DeAndre Kane to Jefferson. Off to a fast start. If anything breaks down, we're right into horns up, 
71 series for Fargo, all right? Right now, we're in, right here, we're in floppy, single double action for Kyle. You got it? Guys gonna come out? I want to double step up, Kyle. Sprint right into it, as soon as I pin down, you gotta sprint opposite. Set the one, set the one for Kane to get him, get clear, and then sprint right over, we got double. All right, read and react, you got it? All we have to do is if a shot goes up, we have to say, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Because they're leaking everybody. Everybody got this? Everybody got this. Transition D. Offensively, right now, here's how we're playing. Back on our heels. Who are these guys? Who is overseas elite? Who are they? They're not as talented as us. Hey, if somebody is on you, rip through and get to the rack. Our cuts, our cuts. We are going back to we. Passion, Bob, it's passion. You heard it right there from David Nurse. And the transition game is favoring the overseas elite to the tune of 6-0. Fast break points, and Everline Drive is facing a very tough defensive unit. Oh yeah, this overseas elite team, they are cohesive defensive. James Muscle McAdoo just overpowers his defender and has his second field goal. James Michael, keep playing, man. This is big boy ball. They're not calling a lot of fouls tonight. 14 points now for Everline Drive. Five. Ben and Blue representing Frazier, Michigan. Everline Drive, 17-14. Randall Paul Fitt running. Here's the dribble. And a terrific defender on him, Osiris Eldridge, who played at Illinois State. Foul on the baseline. Tomorrow, we'll once again have the Pro Football Hall of Fame enshrinement ceremony for you on ESPN. The class of 2018 goes in, and that includes Randy Moss. Coverage begins at 7 tomorrow. Eastern time and also available on the ESPN app. Randy Moss was an outstanding basketball player as a high school product coming up in West Virginia, and his teammate was none other than Jason Williams. White chalk. The runner is good by Jerome Randall. And Jason Williams has some TBT experience. Going for Pedro's posse a couple years ago. Pongo. Outside. And James Michael McAdoo controls it for Everline Drive, and they can take their first lead since it was 1 0. This is hand to hand combat right now. Both teams locked in defensively, especially in the half court. And, friend, you know, as you've covered this tournament, when you get to this championship game, the defense steps up, and we usually have a very close affair. Yeah, there's no question. And if, if Everline Drive takes away the transition game, this will be a half-court slugfest. Jeremy Pargo fouled on the drive. And speaking of slugfest, three excellent officials. Final four level guys, Mike Deeds, Jeff Clark, and Clarence Armstrong. You need strong officials in this kind of environment to keep things from getting out of hand. And speaking how the basketball goes full circle, you see Jeremy Pargo going to the free throw line here for Overseas okay. Elite. Okay. In 2009, NCAA tournament, Rose Garden, Portland, Oregon. Gonzaga's playing Western Kentucky. Jeremy Evans is on that squad. He's playing for Everline Drive tonight. The referee in that game was Mike Eads. And they're all three on the floor tonight. The basketball world, I always say, and I got this from my man, Gordy Chiesa of the Utah Jazz, basketball world is two blocks long. You know everybody on your block, you know a few people on the next block, but there's somebody on your block that knows somebody on the next block. It is a small circle of coaches, referees, and players. 18-16, overseas elite. Underway with the second quarter, fifth. TBT Championship game. Overseas elite, Frank continues to harass defensively. Rockford loves that left side, but couldn't get this one to go. Everline Drive is now 0 for 5 on threes. 
It's Mark Hughes, the overseas elite head coach, his first season taking over. Yeah, because he getting pushed in the ball. I feel like you, uh, the, uh, three seconds. Three seconds is all I'm looking for right here. Yeah, because I feel like they're doing it. Okay, just like the foul was on it, right? Mark Hughes talking to Clarence Armstrong. Not going to be a lot of three-second calls in this game tonight. Nice pass. Kennedy. Next to the line. James Michael McAdoo commits his second. Kyle Vaughn, passer right there. DJ Kennedy both played in China a year ago. Kyle heading back to China. Where he makes a very handsome living. Joe Long Lions. Average about 35 points a game last season. Kennedy with his fifth point. Jeremy Evans and Willie Reed come back for Everline Drive. DJ Kennedy, 2013 on the G League Championship team. Rio Grande Championship Ball Club that defeated Santa Cruz in the final. Played with Kyle Fogg on that team. Yeah. You know, the fans that are watching at home, you say, well, why aren't these guys in the NBA? DJ Kennedy played a little bit for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're at the point of their careers where they make so much money around the world, they can't afford to be the last man on the roster and get a better, better minimum deal. Now a slow, lost the dribble. This is a ball-hawking defense, and again, they've got the mobility and the versatility. Each of these guys can defend at all five spots. Marcos, spin around it. Tapped out to Kennedy. Driving, dishing, got charge on Kennedy. Take a look. They had a drop off for a dunk. Kennedy argued here. I think he set. Willie, was that Willie Reed? Or, yeah. Willie Reed did a good job last night. Using his body as a sacrificial lamb, if you will, take charge. Sacrificial pelican. <laughs> An endangered species. <laughs> Sloan. Finally finds the range. Donald Sloan had 16 last night. His first basket at six attempts. Morrell fouled on the drive. That lane area, Fran, is no place for the timid tonight. No way. Yep, and he's. These officials, they'll call fouls and they'll keep this game under control. But they will let these guys play like they play around the world. It's more physical and feeble. I understand. Here's a guy that knows how to play physically, Justin Burrell, now playing in Japan. Sunday Night Baseball presented by Taco Bell. Yankees Red Sox final game of their four game series in Fenway. Coverage at 7 Eastern Sunday night on ESPN. With baseball tonight, Sunday night countdown, and both are streaming live on the ESPN app. Tanaka and Price, your pitching matchup. So that, that's pretty good. Price has not had much success versus the New York Yankees. 21-18, now 22-18. Overseas elite by four. A couple of former Pac-10 stars, Kyle Fogg, Jerome Randall, Arizona, and Cal. Ball. Nice move. Taylor Ball. He's a man from Oregon. Yeah. Played collegiately at North Dakota State. He's a bison. Had a real good year for the Salt Lake Stars last year. Jeremy Evans. Showing that form that won that slam dunk championship. He can still get up in the air at age 30. Sloan offers that big body to his advantage. Tied at 22, the second time of the game. Kennedy directs traffic. He wants Burrell to repost against Evans. Three clears. It's a good, strong move. It could be as well by Evans. Randall slicing through. Has it knocked out of his hand. He thought it was foul, but no whistle. Come on, Jerome. Play. Good job, 
two million dollars to the winner. The loser, zero. Fifty-one to go in the second. Who's going to win the two million? E.J. Kennedy says it best: money never gets old. America's favorite underdog team, Everline Drive. Can they go from worst to first? Five years ago, they had hardly anybody show up to TBT. So the general manager had to suit up and play, got carried off on a stretcher. And they have slowly through the years gotten better, gotten their feet underneath them, built a team with experience and skill. And now here they are challenging for the $2 million tonight as the West Region champs. If you're wondering how they got started, well, they're named after a little cul-de-sac in Fraser, Michigan. The team was created by general manager Jake Hirschman, who you met earlier, and Joey and Craig and Oster, two brothers who are also here tonight. They drove all night to be here. In 2014, again, all but two players recruited for no-shows. Hirschman and Oster forced to dress out, and they lost by 41. Sports Illustrated actually ran an article calling them the lost cause of TBT. So aren't they thrilled to be here in this game, tied up with Overseas Elite at 22? And, Bob, they seem to be getting more efficient as this game goes on, getting some confidence and getting their feet underneath them. And they're winning this second quarter impressively. They have not allowed a field goal to Overseas Elite in the period, and they've outscored Overseas Elite 10 to 5 to tie the game. Well, the, the player that was taken off in the stretcher was Jacob Hirschman, right? Yes. Now, now one of the boosters and one of the original members of Eber Line. There's Jacob. He was dunked on by Luke Bonner, <laughs> and that's how he got hurt. I'm not, I didn't say Matt Bonner, I said Matt's brother, Luke. Of course, Luke played at UMass, and uh, what a great story. When your general manager gets carried off on a structure, that is not a good thing. Did you see that happening to Sam Presti or Kevin <laughs> yeah, Pritchard? Right. Danny Ainge, maybe. <laughs> uh, Danny 
Hughes would love TBT. <laughs> he would love to put a team in TBT. The way he uh, orchestrates his roster. When the Celtics and Hawks had their <laughs> famous dust up in the playoffs back in the 80s, great headline of the Boston Globe the Big Frank is too loud. Big Danny Ames on the finger in a fight. And the headline next day is Tree Bites Man. <laughs> Last touch by Everline. 25-24, Everline Drive. Everline Drive. Well, Donald Snow has made a huge difference this week. He missed last week. So, looking out for a couple of NBA teams. He is a bulldog. Kennedy. Through the wicket. On the bound. Kennedy is making a concerted attempt to go inside to Justin Burrell. I don't know if he thinks he can get those big guys in foul trouble, Evans and Reed. You know DJ Kennedy can put points on the board as well. Second lead for Everline Drive. Randall. He left out that one by point blank. Doesn't miss that net much. Parker with the floater. Jimmy Parker. the first hoop tonight for Parker. Six last year. And a solid job off the bench for overseas elite in the tournament. Not a slow. Contact, but no whistle that time. You see, Parker's the one pure point guard they have on this team. Example right there. Read the pick and roll. The big stayed out, and Burrell slipped behind. 28-25. Overseas elite bidding for their fourth consecutive championship. Burrell on a backdoor cut, but left it short on over. Fargo. Kyle Fogg. Reed there to challenge. Kennedy there to clean it up. And a timeout has been taken by Everline Drive. Overseas Elite. Their track record threatened, and then they spurt. Lead by five. Jeremy Pargo has been a good addition to this overseas elite team. He is a pure point guard. See that pick and roll, drops the dime. Watch where Willie Reed stays too high, and no one helps from the backside. Excellent recognition. And then, of course, this is such a great, versatile team. You see the drive. Nobody cuts off DJ Kennedy on the backside, and David Nurse took a timeout to try to stem that uh, run a little bit. A 6 0 run. Just over a minute of playing time. Overseas Elite has just a bit of breathing room. Sloan, nice move to get open. Second three for Donald Sloan. All ten of his points in this second quarter. Great crossover. He had Jeremy Pargo leading one way. Pargo. That's a three. So Jeremy Pargo answers with a three of his own. 33-28. Randall five back into it underneath. Before halftime, Sloan, nice quick pass. McAdoo is away from Evans. Great pass by Jeremy Evans and a good start to that play by Donald Sloan. Excellent ball movement. James Michael with six. Overseas Elite by three. And Overseas Elite is going to take a timeout here with 36.2.
tomorrow. We'll have the Pro Football Hall of Fame and Tribal Ceremony for you on ESPN. The class of 2018 contains luminaries like Randy Boss and, of course, the great Ray Lewis, remembered fondly here in Baltimore, of course, a 13-time Pro Bowler, former Super Bowl MVP. He goes in tomorrow night. Brian Earl Locker. Jerry Kramer, he had to wait the longest of anybody since 1968, the Amazing. great Packer. Yep. Remember that ice ball? Absolutely. To get the touchdown? No doubt about it. The guy that could have played, played defensive back in that ice ball, Donald Sloan. <laughs> yes. As he's built like it. Take a look. Young man who played at Seagerville High School in Dallas. Place that also produced LaMarcus Aldridge. Donald has been in big NBA games as a member of the Indiana Pacers. Played overseas. I got a chance to see him in China. Play against Jimmy Fredette a couple years ago. And there are NBA scouts here tonight, Bob. We've said hello to a couple of them before the game. And this is a guy that is trying to work his way back. He is an excellent teammate. Great guy to have on your roster. Toughness, ability to score, and also be a point guard. McAdoo blocked the wrong shot. McCullough was there to lay it down. Five points for Eric. Shot clock is on. The line drive down by five. As Randall yo yo's at mid floor. Fox staring him down. Seven seconds, six. And Fog with the foul. Overseas league foul on number 21. That is a foul to give for overseas league. <laughs> they made changes as Paris Ward comes back in. Jefferson comes back in. And the reason they've done this is because hey, they don't want downhill. one guy to pick up an accumulation of fouls. Down. They still have a couple more to give here. NCAA rules. Not like the NBA with the second foul in the last two minutes. Evans got it hit and still put it in. And a three-point play opportunity. Poor execution by overseas elite. They had a couple of opportunities to give a foul. DJ Kennedy's not happy on the bench. Take a look. They reach right there. But that play started in the other corner. They had two fouls to give. They didn't get it done, and now they may give up three points. With just six-tenths of a second on the clock. Just offline for DeAndre Kane. It's a two-point game at the half. And what we expected from two quality TBT teams. We've seen them score lots of points in the TBT, but night to night, both of these teams are locked in defensively. Let's check in with Jen with DJ Kennedy. Thanks, Bob. DJ, this team is in control in the lead, but not by much, and you're frustrated. What do you want to see differently? I'm not frustrated. I think it's just a few mental mistakes that I know my team, we shouldn't be making. That's how good we are. So I'm holding my team because I know a few mental breakdowns that I think on a team like this, you can't have tonight. I mean, this is a good team. It's a lot of good pros. And the middle of things can cost you. So I just want us to really focus and lock in. Everline Drive turned it on in that second quarter, especially Donald Sloan with 10 points. How do you slow him down next half? Uh, we, I think uh, a lot of uh, open shots for him. Let him get going. We got to take away those. But I think we did a good job defense. Like I said, a few mental breakdowns that we, uh, if we do a good job second half, I feel good about our chances. Thanks, DJ. Best of luck. Going for a fourth consecutive TBT championship final from Baltimore. Overseas elite clinging to a two-point lead over Everline Drive. Back after this.
Earlier today, TBT staff, players, partners, and sponsors embarked on a day of giving throughout the city. What a fantastic day it's been. The basketball tournament partnered with the City of Baltimore and other community organizations for projects around the city. This effort officially kicked off two weeks ago at Montebello Elementary School, dedicating a new basketball court, hoops, and a newly painted indoor gymnasium to students on behalf of TBT and the Carmelo Anthony Foundation. Two days ago, a ribbon-cutting ceremony with Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh, TBT founder John Mugar, and Baltimore native and Denver Nuggets star Will Barton. The giving spread throughout the city this morning as volunteers and TBT staff went to work. There was a hiring event at Morgan State University's Earl S. Richardson Library, including both job preparation advice and interviews. Then the second annual Healthy City event, featuring dozens of health and wellness vendors at Mundaman Mall. Also, a community beautification project in the Upton Penn North area. Local sponsors, Kaiser Permanente, Johns Hopkins, DTLR, City Year, the State of Maryland, and various city agencies helped make the day possible alongside all of those who donated their time. Thanks to everyone for spending today giving back to the city of Baltimore. TBT, all about fabulous basketball as well as giving back to the community. And one gentleman who knows about that, CJ McCollum. Many people, of course, know him from the Portland Trailblazers. CJ, I'm going to say you're little brother of the year because you went through quite a lot to get here to support your brother Eric today. Yeah, I had a tough day yesterday, but I was thankful they were able to come away with a win. So. Luckily, luckily, there's good trains here. I was able to get a train in and leave the planes behind. You trained in because you were stuck in the airport for seven hours. You got your family here behind you. This is something everyone in the McCollum crew gets together and supports, this Overseas Elite Squad. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody comes out full force. I got family here from Virginia. My grandma's here, my pops, my mom, cousins. Everybody's out here in full force. So. Hopefully they get this four beat, we can go celebrate tonight and then get back to reality. Make it worth your trip. One thing I have to ask you about, you are so fantastic in the community, building dream centers with the Boys and Girls Club across America, and soon you and Eric will be bringing this to your home state of Ohio. Yeah, we're looking forward to the opportunity to bring some stuff to Canton. Uh, obviously, uh, in the past years, I've, I've partnered up with Boys and Girls Clubs in Oregon. I think we have a grand opening coming in September on a room we renovated and made into a journalism studio. So. Looking forward to continuing to help out. I think LeBron's done a great job of, of, of being an advocate for community service work, and you know he's kind of you know set the bar. CJ, thank you so much for your time. Keep up the great work on and off the court. It's so inspiring. Appreciate it. Thank you. Be sure to keep it right here on ESPN. We've got something new in the TBT this year. A brand new trophy that will be presented at the end of tonight's game to the champion and winner of two million dollars. We're back in just a moment.
The basketball tournament is brought to you by... The basketball tournament is brought to you by Puma Basketball and by Dollar Shave Club. However you get ready, welcome to the club. Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best at dollarshaveclub.com. And we thank the city of Baltimore for being great hosts to the TBT Championship. 35-33 here at the half. The McCullum brothers talk things over. A little extra strategy session from the family. Bob Rathman, Fred Priscilla, back with you here in Baltimore. Overseas Elite, bidding for a fourth consecutive, a $2 million winner-take-all game at stake. And they came out running the basketball. The transition game served them well with Kyle Fogg and company. They did, and they got it going early. No question about it. Take a look. Quick trigger right here by Kyle Fogg, who dropped 38 last night. Jeremy Evans, former Utah Jazz, rebounding big man. Good job there. DJ Kennedy, this is when they were off and running early, but then Everline Drive came back. Jerome Randall with a pretty drive to the basket. And how about the dime drop by Jeremy Pargo to Justin Burrell? What we have so far is hand-to-hand -hand combat for $2 million. And you can tell, Fran, with that money at stake, there is a tension to this game. Reality TV. Let's check with Jen. Thanks, Bob. Coach David Nurse, got your feet under you in that second quarter. What do you need to do this second half to get in control of this game? Uh, we just need to have more energy, more passion. We've got to come out from the start, and we just got to play even more together. We're getting it rolling a little bit, so we got to get this first. These first five minutes really important. What enabled Donald Sloan to put up 10 in that second period? Uh, just looking for him, getting good looks, and just pushing in transition, knowing our game and, and playing together as one. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck. Thank you. Bob. David Nurse holds two world records. Most threes with one ball in one minute. And in five minutes, he made 23s in one minute to set the record, and 81 in five minutes. And he wasn't even the best shooter in his hometown of Pella, Iowa. That distinction belongs to Kyle Corbin. I like it. I like it. And we wish his Uncle Nick all the best. He'll take over for Dwayne Casey this year in Toronto. 35-33 overseas elite with the basketball and the lead. Taylor Brown, who did such a good job on Jimmy Fredette last night, has Kyle Fox. Oh, and in to the baseline for Eric McCullough. Well, we saw his, old, his younger brother CJ at halftime. This guy played at Goshen College in northern Indiana as the all-time leading scorer. And he's now having a terrific pro career around the world. Once scored 82 points in a Chinese Basketball Association game, and here you see CJ who's having a great start to his NBA career up in Portland. And there's Mom, Canton, Ohio, McCullums. What a great story, what a great family. Eight points for Eric, overseas elite, up by five. That matches the biggest lead for all in 
in transition overseas elite with numbers. Kennedy to the rack. And Evans is there. Sloan to Evans. Trying to feed inside off the hands of Willie Reed. All the way we go with Kennedy. And I'm stuck with DJ Kennedy right there. Too strong, too powerful, and throwing a little agility as well. Kyle Fogg whistled for the reach in. Now remember that start to the game, the transition by Overseas Elite. They're getting it going early to start this third quarter as well. And that's something Coach David Nurse is going to be very concerned about. Randall. And getting pulled back was brought by DeAndre Kane. There was a hook, but no release. <laughs> Two quick team fouls on Overseas Elite. Entry to Donald Sloan. Quick recovery by Kennedy. Two main game with Reed. Barrels in on Burrell. Great tough defense. Randall. And a foul. Nowhere to go for Jeremy Evans, but he did find Jerome Randall. You mentioned. You're not going to barrel over Justin Burrell, but a good find now. How about this? Foul by McCone. The shooter, I think, friend, they may have switched it to Kyle. Okay. Long, and if so, it's his fourth. Ooh. And Jerome Randall finishes off the play with the free throw. 40-36. McCullough watches the fire. Burrell, strong dude. Now they stick back. How about his toughness? He's 6'10", about 245. Grown man move right there from a guy that was a really solid player at St. John's for Norm Roberts and then Steve Lavin. Sloan to the wing. Randall. Stop the cook. An old-fashioned three-point play. Then the bomb from the wing. 42-39. McCullough, Burrell, up face, gets out of the lane. 6.50 to go, third quarter. Overseas elite by three. Batted into the hands of Kyle Fong. Told you, Bob, hand-to-hand -hand combat this next two quarters. Brought the rebound. Overseas elite keeps pushing. Reed spins in, tough shot. Kennedy's got a man ahead, it's McCullough. And a technical foul has been charged to Willie Reed, I believe, of Everlon Drive. We're gonna have a shooter. And we're going down, he just got 33 points. Technical foul assessed to Everline Drive, number 33, Willie Reed. And it's his third he was upset. He didn't get a foul call at the other end. Well, he spun. I thought he was out of control. Let's take a look. Here's the end of the play where Eric McCollum's going to get the easy two. But Willie spun and really didn't go strong. He thought he got fouled. And he's going to now take a break and head out of the arena at the moment. Two tested free throws for Eric McCullough. Can't lose your cool in this kind of environment. You've got a lot of money on the line, not only right. for yourself, but your teammates. That's right. Let's take a look. Watch the spin right here. And uh, yeah, he, he got fouled. It looked like he did get fouled. And you know what? The crazy thing about that play, that would have been Kyle Fox fifth foul. Yes. And they're allowed, they're allowed six by TBT rules. Sees the lead. Pushing. Getting that transition game going like they did at the beginning of the game. Bob leaving it short. That transition bucket a moment ago before the technical. First since the opening minutes. Kennedy. Burrell. Kick out. McCollum. 4 3. Great effort on the offensive glass by overseas elite. And the ball movement exquisite so far. 
Murray hits it up on the glass. Another offensive rebound. Justin Burrell is a monster in there right now. And an offensive rebound on Burrell. As he was moving Taylor Brown all over the paint. And Clarence Armstrong controlling the beats. Absolutely. And these officials will not be intimidated. Watch Burrell step right in. And it looked like he, he, he pushed off with that inside arm. Donald Sloan for three. 13 points for Donald Sloan. A four point spread, 46 42. Andre Kane has Randall inside. They're looking to get it into him. But Randall is a tough guy from the Windy City. Kane on the back down. Out of the double team. This one ricochets out of bounds. And it's going to belong to Everline Drive. Jeff Clark was the official opposite. He had a good look at that. You see Mark Hughes, he, the very dapper. I think he might be the first guy in TV history, TBT history, to wear a shirt and tie. McAdoo. Off the glass. Beautiful. James Blythe with eight. And Everline Drive is within four. McAdoo has missed only one shot in five tries. Four and a half to go, third quarter. Two million dollars hanging in the balance to the winner. Kennedy. On McAdoo. How about DJ Kennedy? He's in the prime of his career right now. And that will be a travel against Donald Sloan. Fargo Jefferson come in for overseas elite. I mentioned it earlier, Bob. DJ Kennedy had a, a small cup of coffee with the Cleveland Cavaliers. At this stage of his career, he could play on an NBA team, but financially, he is a smart businessman, makes great money overseas, and Willie Reed has rejoined that Everline Drive bench. After picking up that technical, he made it, they needed to cool off a little bit. Donald Sloan, you can hear him saying to Clarence Armstrong, that was two steps, i.e., I didn't trap. 48-44. Kennedy. And that brings us to a timeout. Remember, Everline Drive, they came in as a seven seed. We know they're better than that, and they're proving it. But do they have enough to knock off the three-time champ? Find out. Stick around.
get back, get back. Hey, they got Jefferson. He can't move his hands. He's so Oh, Jay. But Jay, you're going to get into an open side pick and roll with Jefferson. Jefferson's guarding your back. You're going to come up. You're going to flip it, either inside or outside. It's the last second. You're coming down with a full head of steam. J.E., depending on where he goes, you're going to flash high. Or if he's here, you're going to roll. You're going to stay in the dunker right there. Okay? You're reading off J-Mac. Got it? Other side, spread out. Let's spread out. Be ready to shoot. Interchange. The backdoor cut. Hey. What do we have? Literally, literally like nine minutes until that is infinite. Hey. No ball. Hey. We're in the bonus. Go. Right here. Big D. Big D, baby. Come on. Pumas in the huddle featuring head coach David Norris of Eberlon Drive. Very good, simple instructions, and then a little bit of emotion at the end right there. Get his guys fired up. They are locked in in terms of intensity, and they are in a battle. Overseas Elite has committed four team fouls, so penalty time for Overseas Elite. They have the basketball here with this four-point lead, bidding for a fourth consecutive title. Kyle Fong lays it up, gets it, lays it in. Oh, that was so good. Kyle Fong, that's why, boys and girls, you come off a ball screen, slow down and read the defense. He waited for Jefferson to get behind the defender. Randall's miss. Jefferson out looks a rainbow to Kane. Pulls a three ball. Tap back to him. Oh, I get it to Kennedy. And they do. Drives on McAdoo. Kennedy sizing up James Michael one more time. And a goal tap. Remember last night when he sized up Jameer Wilson and stepped back three? That's like a pitcher in baseball. He had the fastball, then he comes with the curve because James Michael wasn't sure. Take a look. He puts his head down, gets right to the rim, and an easy call. Overseas the lead. Takes the lead to eight. Nice reverse by Cyrus Eldridge. The evil ending will take over when we get to the fourth quarter. First dead ball under four minutes. Eldridge, terrific defender. Somebody's open. That man is Fargo. He'll drive it on Sloan. Flips it up and on. Jeremy Evans clears. Sloan, push ahead. Randall clapping and scoring. How fast was that? That's four quick points. Yep. Forever line drive. Daylight for Pargo. That opening closed quickly, thanks to Eldridge. Plenty of time, 30 second shot clock by Collins. And a push stops the clock with 1.49 to play. Tomorrow we'll once again have for you the Pro Football Hall of Fame Enshrinement Ceremony for you right here on ESPN. Randy Boss, Ray Lewis, Jerry Kramer, among all the legends going in. 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow also on the ESPN app. Jerry Kramer is going to be the 25th Green Bay Packer to go into the Hall of Fame. The only team that has more, the Chicago Bears. Wow. With 28. And Brian Erlach is going to the corner. The Mexico Lobo. Lobo is that 28. Kennedy. Oh, hey. Tip, Sloan gets it to McAdoo. Randall running. Nice comeback here by Everline Drive. McAdoo hustles the back tap it. Sloan is open. Rhythm bounce for three. And again tapped into the backcourt. And just enough runway. For Jerome Randall. Yeah, but I think James Michael, he's done a great job the last two possessions keeping that ball alive. Crady's so quick off his feet. Yes, he is. Randall. See the push. Three in transition by Paris Horn. Another chance. Kennedy tries a three. 
And we're down to the final 52 seconds good of chance. the third. Hot. Good chance for two for one right here. Got to get that shot up, shot up by 40. Donald Sloan gives to McAdoo. And he's going to be a basket and a free throw to come. That's professional basketball right there. Nobody had to say two for one. They just do it instinctively. There's the pick and roll. Kennedy is late. And if things play out right for Everline Drive, they'll get the final possession of the half. Of the quarter, excuse me. Third foul on Kennedy. And after trailing by eight, Everline Drive scores six unanswered and a chance for a seventh with McAdoo at the strike. Kennedy sits with his third foul and a blow as we come to the end of the quarter as we check in with Jen Hale. Bob, we've been talking about the story of Everline Drive and the families that live on that street, the name that gave this team their cause. Well, one of the original members, Oster Sr., he's a friend of Jacob Hirschman and the Oster brothers to Jacob's right right now. Their father is home on Everline Drive at this moment. He's hosting a watch party for the entire block to come and cheer on Everline Drive in this game. So shout out to them, and it's awesome to see the way they rally behind this team. Big offensive rebound here for Everline. They've got a chance to tie with the two, lead with the three. Donald Sloan taking his time. Now we see a pick and roll. Here comes McAdoo. Sloan blocks it, shoots it, missed it. McAdoo got a hand on it. 14 seconds, one at a time for Overseas Elite. Overseas Elite's got a foul to give if they want to use it. Tip to Sloan, and that will be the period. Wow, what a ball game. 52-50 overseas elite. Here we go. Nine minutes away. The winner gets two million. The loser, they get a handshake. If this doesn't work, it's a step up right away. You got it? Go to work. This is where we're getting it. We're On the defensive end. This play, right? Yes. This is any side out of bounds. This is the first play. All right? Stack, stack. All right? Other than that, defensively. Look here. I don't care what happens as long as we get every last ounce of what we have. And you walk off this floor with no regrets. No regrets. Get back in the transition. Let's read them. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Family. One, two, three, man. Hey, it's Guillermo. 
motion right now. These go, these guys know how to play. They know how to play together. Yeah, the coaches are giving them some some pointers, but right now we're talking about energy, emotion, and execution. The next nine minutes. Is there a crack in that overseas elite foundation? They've gone scoreless over the last three minutes and 37 seconds. They've maintained the lead almost all night. Everline has led for a grand total of a minute 36. But Grand Brasilla, we enter this final period with a two-point game. You know the fun part? Maybe it'd be under four minute part. When we go to the Elam ending, we play to a target score. Everybody try basketball. Let's start from the score will be set. First depth of under the four minute mark. Five minutes. Head to head play here. Blocked by Jefferson. Kennedy throws it to him on a leak out. Gets to five. Steps into a three. That's a great play by Jefferson. He's a fellow stealer of basketball. There's my quick one. CJ McCullough. His brother Eric coming up with that one and laying it home. And wow, 57-50. Five points in six seconds. Another great start to a quarter by the champs. From the corner, three ball missed, tapped out. And Randall's got it forever long drive. Ten to play. Two million dollars on the line. The point and take away by Kennedy on the push. Fox has it. Drives in. Lays it in. Timeout. Everline drive. From a two-point game. And you think for an instant that overseas elites in trouble. Back they come with a big punt. You know what they say in Baltimore, all that little set bets. Come at the game, don't miss. hit a three, and then when they pressured him on the line, he had that pro mentality of changing up and driving to the basket. They love this in Tucson, Arizona, where he starred for the Wildcats, and he is a much better player, year by year, than the guy that left Tucson. Now the pressure, clearly, on the Everline drive. They're down nine, Elam ending is less than four minutes away. Whoa, tough shot. And then it carried them out of that shot, but good hustle to get it back. Randall puts it over to Sloan. Donald, tricky dribbles in. Blocked, taken down by Ever sees the lead. What a challenge by Jefferson. He's a three-time champion. Overseas Elite has already banked five million over the last three years. Can they add two more to it? Hard bounce and Jefferson finishes. This is pro basketball. That young man averaged two points and two rebounds at South Carolina about seven years ago. He got better every year. Great points to start the quarter by overseas elite. McAdoo. Hey. And Jefferson the foul. Boy, DeAndre Jefferson has been a beast. Uh, he, has, he, he knows his role. There's the block. And then the hustle at the other end. And this is a young man that had very limited playing time in college. He started out 
in obscure places. He's been in places like Slovakia, Lebanon, Turkey, and Italy, and he got better every year. McAdoo with the second free throw coming. Jefferson played only six minutes in last season's championship game for overseas elite. And he's one of the key contributors in the fourth quarter tonight. 61-51. Ten-point lead. Elam ending in two and a half minutes. You don't want to get stacked in if you're overseas elite. You need some ball movement. Cutting Kennedy. The fake and by Justin Burrell. Great ball movement right there. That's what we're talking about. Don't get stagnant. No Velcro on that ball. Bond with the push. And that will be his fifth at 6.05. Coming up next on Sports Center, Linda to come, Kenny Main. Break it down. Johnny Manziel CFL deb debut in Montreal. Plus, they'll analyze Tigers' second round at Firestone. Astros Dodgers in progress highlights in their first meeting since game seven of the World Series. Coming up next on Sports Center. I would get Kyle Fogg out as quickly as possible right now. Lob to McAdoo and he's able to put it on the rim and go in for it. McAdoo has 13. Ten point game as we approach the Elam ending. James Michael has been very efficient with his shots this, this week. Kennedy a jab step and go. McCullough. Oh, just out for Eric. McAdoo's at 6 of 7 for him. Slow. Back to Donald. And 15 away from the eighth ending. I'd like to get this down in single digits. But back into straight. And Kennedy with a key defensive play. He is so underrated on that end of the floor. Jeremy Pargo. Oversees a lead by 10 as Pargo spins in. And has it stolen by Donald Sloan. And a block and a foul. Eric McCollum with his first. What a spurt by overseas elite. This is why they're the champs. They know how to close out games. Can they do it one more time? The three by five, the drive by five. And then John Gray Jefferson finishing at the rim. Ball movement, Justin Burrell. Everybody's involved right now for overseas elite. He missed there by Donald Sloan at the line. Andre Kane coming in and Vaughn to protect him for the Elam ending. He's got five fouls. He's got Paris Horn in the game as well, Bob, who I mentioned is the blue. Four years ago in the opening game in Atlanta, they were about to lose a game. And Paris Horn made a LeBron like block. With 30 seconds to go, that saved or at least began this incredible run. 63-54 overseas elite. Elon ending first dead ball under four minutes. Hurry for Colin. Hit by Evans. Colin pushed off offensive foul. 63-54 overseas elite with 424 to play. Eric McCollum, he, he really didn't argue that very much. He knew he got away with one, but in fact he didn't get away with it. Slaughter, a big three. Evans couldn't got it in, neither could McAdoo. This one squirts out, bodies everywhere. No whistle, down one, and a hell ball error to overseas elite. I'm going to lose! What would you expect? I'm going to lose six This is a $2 million scrap. <laughs> oh, I love this. Take a look. A lot on the line. It's a game seven. It's for two mil. Good effort both ways. A lot of hands in the cookie jar. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on. 
five seconds away from the Elam ending. Hit downhill. As they get the floor cleaned up, we'll remind you about the Yankees and Red Sox. Sunday Night Baseball presented by Taco Bell. Final game of that four-game series. How about Steve Pierce last night? Three home runs for Boston. He came up and walked his final time. You know, more rare than a no-hitter, a player who hits four home runs in a game has only been done in the big leagues 15 times. Wow. There have been over 260 no-hitters. You are a font of information. 63-54 overseas elite, 405 remaining. Now, big, big possession for overseas elite. Well, here's what's going to happen. I believe as soon as it gets under four, Mark Hughes is going to take a timeout so they can set the score. And Yo. The target score should be 70. Let's see. And the four, time yep. out, time out. Just waiting for the clock. And it ticks under at 358. Timeout is here. Elam ending is in effect. Overseas elite with 63 points. We'll put the target score on the big board when we come back. Case defensive rebounds. And that is 16 offensive rebounds for overseas elite. Kennedy. Down goes McAdoo. Kennedy shovels and a foul. Non shooting, I believe. 
Taylor Paul if it's his second. Yeah, very smart foul. They have him to give, and he saved the layup. Clock gets reset, but they still need stops. And if you look at it from Everline's perspective, they've got to find a way to yeah, outscore right overseas for... elite 16 to 6. Yeah. They get the two million. You know, in, in the Y, when we all grew up, you got to play to 21. This it's a target score. There's a steal. Back to do. Evans. In and out. Man, way at the point. Clock is on. First team to 70 wins. The championship, the big payday. Dancing out front. Horn. Knocked out by Neverline Drive. Fresh clock for Overseas Elite. Remember, they can go to the monitor like college rules. But now Mike Eads is going to stop play here. We should point out that Everline Drive in this fourth quarter frame, they are one of nine for the field. It has to be three points or less. That's for video review. with him in the game. Margo fouls, and that is the 15th foul by Overseas Elite. Take a look now. Watch excellent screen by Burrell. Great roll. Textbook right there. Braun comes over to play good defense, but you see the step through by the veteran. Now the foul on the other end, fortuitous for Everline Drive, because they have a chance. And that's the second free play. Yes. Yes. Of the yeah. half quarter. He makes this basically a trade-off, two for one. Advantage, overseas elite. Yes, both. Makes the task even tougher for Everline Drive. Five for three. There's not the emphasis for Everline Drive to be on shooting threes with this much of a gap to make up? I, I think the way I would play this, Bob, is just what they just did. Attack, get, to, get yourself to the line off of a dump off great, but you also got to be looking to find the shooters, no, no doubt about it. They've had two empty possessions right now. The missed three by Evans and the two missed free throws by Sloan. Everline, four of 16. From three point land, Jeremy Evans. 55 points. They have to get to 70. Still quite an uphill climb for Avalon Drive. Three throws for Jeremy Evans. Pressure mounting on Avalon defensively. Overseas elite, five points away from the target score. We've seen teams with the lead kind of put it on cruise control throughout the TBT. Two team fouls on Everline Drive. Fog gets inside, lost it, got it back. Three points away. How about they can win it next time down? Hey, they got scurred. If you think they haven't earned this lead, you're mistaken. These guys scrap. Go in the huddle with Puma. Yo, all we need, hey, all we need is a few stops. We just got to keep getting a few stops in a row, and we have to just keep going down to attack. Pick it up, down to attack. Hey. We don't, baby. This is what we bring our heart. We got more heart than this 
seasons on Jerry Stackhouse staff as Raptors 905 went to two consecutive G League Championship Series, winning one and losing last spring to the Austin Spurs. Yeah, exactly. And you know, and the, the other thing that we haven't talked about, these teams who are got it, getting a chance to be overseas elite, they don't want to count their money. Like, it's so hard overnight. You're thinking about the share of the winnings instead of just playing a game. You don't think there's not a mental aspect to closing a game like this out. Something overseas is a lead has done about three straight times. A three-pointer ends it. And a fourth consecutive title for overseas elite. it over. Screen from Burrell. Pargo to the win. Randall for three. And again, ahead of the pack, overseas a late Burrell. Burrell with the jam. Now everyone is really up against it. They cannot give up another point. Slow. Who will have the privilege of clinching it? Is it here? No. Rebound down the line. Not to stay on the attack. Twos or threes. Turnover. Link out. It's going to be Barrett. Fouled on the dunk by Randall. And it will be. They push a flagrant. They only need a point. And overseas elite are lining up the bank transfers. Easy call right here. You see Randall, and one thing he did, it's an intentional foul, obviously, but he went right over to Justin Burrell. And Justin Burrell now, you see the foul. It's a hard foul. Two million on the line. He made sure that he, he told Justin Burrell, hey, just part of the job. Now he's got to go to the line with nobody there. Can he do it? For two million dollars. Four in a row. Overseas elite improves to 25 and 0 in TBT history. So close for Everline Drive, but the fourth quarter Fran Fraschilla belonged to overseas elite. They know how to win, Bob. You know, the first year it was close, the second year they were tested, last year they were tested. But these guys have the heart of champions. And they're not just great basketball players, but they have a cohesiveness and a togetherness which is amazing since they don't get a chance to practice. They play around the world during the year, but they come together in August every season. To Jen Hale. Bob, a huge congratulations to Eric McCollum and this overseas elite team. Very few teams can say they have won four consecutive championships. What is that ride like? Man, it's exhausting uh, mentally, physically. Every day you got to bring it. Everybody's always talking about you. Um, they're trying to knock you off. But we know there's a reason we won three in a row and not four. I think we got a great team, great group of guys, and we earned this. Justin Burrell, he's not buying drinks tonight, is he? No, Justin Burrell, <laughs> he's a great guy. Um, he, he helped change the team, the dynamics. Um, we have been trying to get him over here for a couple years now. And he finally came. And 
he, we got him two championships, and he was a big part of everything. And he helped solidify the middle position for us. Thanks, Eric. Enjoy it. Thank you. We'll be back. We'll be back with the trophy presentation as the coverage of TBT wraps up from Baltimore. We are back in Baltimore, TBT Tradition Overseas Elite. For the fourth consecutive year, hammers it into the wall as champions. They've had good practice at that. The incredible performance. You see the huddle right there. They stuck together. They're great players around the world in the various countries they play, Bob. And uh, what's more impressive about them as the talent level grows at the TBT, is the way they take on every single challenge. And have conquered every challenger. Let's check in with Jim. Bob, the moment everyone has been waiting for, the founder and CEO of the basketball tournament, John Mugar, not only has the hardware over to our left, but also the big check. John. Thanks, Jen. On behalf of the basketball tournament, we want to thank the 72 teams that participated this year and all the general managers. Especially want to thank Everline Drive and Jake and Matt for putting together a great team. And Overseas Elite, the 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 champions, 25 and 0, winners of $7 million. Congratulations, here's your check. $2 million once again. These guys have truly written their names in the history books, no doubt about it. Two million, that has to feel really good. Let's grab the MVP of this basketball tournament now, DJ Kennedy, congratulations. There are very few teams in this world who can say they have won four consecutive champions. Mm -hmm. It's un unbelievable. I feel like we made history. A lot of people counted us out. It's hard to do something three times, to make it four times, unbelievable, man. That's why I wanted to most remarkable moments in all of the world, by all of us, four times. We've done after this, it's over for us. It's over, it's getting hard, it's getting hard. Competition getting better every year, every game. Tell them what I told you. What you say? It's over with, in other words, Overseas Elite is retiring after this year? Unless they, yes, I think it's over. I know, it's over for us. Overseas Elite, it's over. We need five million, we need five million. Let somebody else go take some money. Well, it's gotta feel pretty good to go out as MVP then. Oh man, it's great. Unbelievable, man. To do this four years in a row, I can't even explain it. Love these guys. To do something like this with no chemistry and just come in every summer and continue to keep winning, it's, it's remarkable. 
DJ, it's been fun to watch. Congratulations to you and overseas elite. Bob, let's send it back to you. Celtics, UCLA men, UConn women, Canadians, Islanders, Yankees, and the name overseas elite. Four straight TBT titles. For Fran Fischilla, Jen Hale, our entire crew, Bob Rathman, this has been the basketball tournament. Overseas elite, your 2018 champs. So long from Baltimore, let's send it to SportsCenter.